Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys Flick the Inventor, Volume 1, A Bug's Life. All right, guys, let's get into this. Princess Dot and some of the blueberries stood outside Flick's room in the ant, the ant hill. Pop, wheeze, goop, came the noises from inside. As always, Flick was trying to invent something to help the ant colony. Maybe we should ask him if he needs help, Dot suggested. But before anyone could answer, there was a loud thump. Flick bounced out of the room, landing at Dot's feet. Hmm, Flick muttered as he stood up and brushed himself off. The flinging mechanism must be too tight. Flick was so deep in thought he didn't even notice Dot and her friends. He marched right past them and back into his room. Well, Dot said, at least we know he's okay. The next morning, Dot saw Flick at the edge of the fields with a funny-looking machine. Hi, Flick, Dot said. What you working on? Oh, hello, princess, said Flick. He smiled happily. This is my pickup and mover machine. How does it work? asked Dot. Here, let me show you, Flick said as he helped Dot up onto a rock. Then he started his machine. Soon an arm on the machine reached out and grabbed Dot. That tickles, she said, giggling. Suddenly Dot felt herself being lifted into the air. A moment later, she landed safely on the ground. Wowie, cried Dot. Look how far I moved. Excellent, Flick said. I'm glad I adjusted that flinging mechanism. Otherwise, you might have ended up on the other side of the ant island. Oh, wow, Flick. <laughs> Just then, Thorny appeared. Flick, Thorny said, why aren't you collecting food with the rest of the worker ants? Hello, Thorny. I was hoping you asked me that very question, Flick replied. You see, I have invented a new machine. Would you like to see how it works? Thorny was angry. We don't have time for all these silly inventions. There's work to be done. We need to collect food. But, Flick tried to explain, just get to work like the other ants. Thorny called as he stumped away. Flick hung his head. It's okay, Flick. Not everybody gonna understand you. Don't worry, Flick, Dot said. You'll figure out some way to use your invention. I just know it. Yeah, it must be good for something, but what? Flick said to Dot as he walked out to the fields to work. Later that night, Flick sat in his room trying to think of a useful invention. Suddenly, he got an idea. He worked deep into the night. Early the next morning, Dot found Flick outside looking intently at a large stalk. Flick? She said, you better get out in the fields with the other ants. Thorny's been looking for you. Sure, I will, Dot, Flick said. But wouldn't you like to see my latest invention first? It's a stalk chopper. Flick, you're going to get in trouble, Dot warned. You're supposed to be collecting food. Yes, yes. Flick said, I will, I will, right after I try this. Stand back, princess. Flick started up his machine and set to work. Moments later, the stock was chopped neatly in half. Aha, Flick cried. It worked. How do you like that, princess? But Dot didn't answer. Thorny did. How many times do I have to tell you there's work to be done? Cried Thorny. But Thorny, Flick said, look at this. It's my new stalk chopping machine. We don't have time for this, Thorny insisted. But I'm sure, Flick began. 
We don't need to chop stalks. We need to collect food, Thorny told him. Flick's antennas drooped as he walked out to the fields to join the other worker ants. That's all Thorny thinks about, harvesting food, Flick mumbled to himself. Then Flick stopped short. That's what we need, he cried. A harvester, a machine to collect food. Flick turned around and raced back to his room. He looked at his pickup and mover machine. Then he looked at his stock shopping machine. Hmm, what would happen if I combined them? Flick thought out loud. I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, Flick, go ahead. The following morning, with his new invention strapped to his back, Flick headed toward the fields. He smiled as he watched two ant children run past him, playing tag. Then he waved to some worker ants collecting food. Flick sighed happily. He knew that his invention would save the worker ants hours of working time. In fact, Flick thought he might become something of a hero. Flick tried to get Thorny's attention, but Thorny was too busy talking to Princess Otta. And Princess Dot was nowhere to be found. Flick, one of the worker ants called out. What crazy thing you did you invent this time? Ha ha ha, the other ants laughed too. That Flick, he once said, he's always thinking of useless stuff. But Flick didn't mind the other ants teasing. He was busy starting up his machine. Then he cut down a stalk. Moments later, the flinging machine launched dozens of pieces of grain into a basket. Flick's machine worked. Okay, Flick, go ahead. He like, I'd rather work smarter, not harder. Hey, cried one, one worker ant. That's your pickup and mover machine. That's right. Flick said proudly. And it's connected to your stalk ch chopping machine, said another ant. Uh-huh, Flick replied. Wow, shouted the worker ants. Yep, I put them together and made a harvester, Flick explained. Now one ant can collect as much food as a whole bunch of ants put together. Hooray, cried the other ants. Three, cheer three cheers for Flick. Flick grinned. He had done it. He had finally created a really useful machine. Hopefully it don't malfunction, but let's keep going. Oh, okay. Dear Blueberry Journal. Boy, the working ants sure do work hard. Just a, fun, just a few of them collect enough food for the entire ant colony to survive winter. Sometime, the seeds are already on the ground. And the workers pick them up and carry them away in their mouth. Other times, they have to cut the seeds off the grasses and weeds before they can take them. Now that we have Flick's Harvester, everyone can gather seeds faster and more easily than all the worker ants have to do is carry them inside the nest to keep them dry. Hooray! More time to play! Y'all, till next time, Dot. All right, guys. I guess that invention worked. Okay, Flick, go ahead. Helping out everybody. All right, guys. That was A Bug's Life, Flick the Inventor, Volume 1. Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys. Bye!